When adding fractions with like denominators, you keep the denominator, you don't add it. You just add your numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3. Since it's in simplest form, you're done. When you have different denominators, you have to find a common denominator. There's many different methods. I'm going to show you just one. I also noticed that since my fraction 2 thirds and 3 fourths are both more than 1 half, I'm going to end up with a fraction more than 1. My quick common denominator is 12. I multiply 3 times 4. Your quick common denominator may not be the smallest number they have in common, but it will still work. Then you cross multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. You bring over your plus sign. Then you cross multiply to the right. 3 times 3 is 9. Now it's just a matter of cleaning it up. I keep my denominator of 12. 8 plus 9 is 17. And here I ended up with a fraction more than one whole. I'm going to treat this like a division problem. 17 divided by 12 is 1. I have a remainder of 5, so I put 5 over 12. You can use the same method when you subtract. Six-sevenths minus three-sevenths. My denominator is the same, so I leave it alone. Six minus three is three. Again, this is simplified, so I'm done. Then, if you have unlike denominators, you find your quick common denominator. Six times three is 18. Then I cross multiply left. Five times three is 15. Cross multiply right. 6 times 2 is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3, and I bring over my 18. This is not a simplified fraction. I know that 3 will divide into 18. So I say 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 18 divided by 3 is 6. 1 sixth is my final answer.